Hello, so you want to know how to play your premium add-ons from MapSport on the Marketplace, but you want to put them on your own custom world. So a little bit like what I've got going on with my Golem Minions and I've added the chickens from Chicken Blocked. So what you want to do is obviously make sure that you own the pack. Okay, so I've bought this Chicken Blocked pack and you can see here it says create this world because I've bought it, I've downloaded the template um, and now I've actually got the add-on installed in a folder and the trick is finding that folder now i'm gonna say this before we go any further if you haven't bought the pack and say you've got a friend he's bought the pack he finds the folder that i'm about to show you and sends you that folder it doesn't mean you're going to be able to play it okay um basically if you load up a premium pack that you haven't bought that you haven't that you don't own it will just throw it straight out, okay? I've tested this and it works as it should. It's all encrypted, so you can't get into the files. It's all random numbers and stuff. Um, and if you do happen to get the pack onto a world and you don't own that pack, it will get removed. So try as much as you want. It's not going to work. If you don't own it, it's not going to work, all right? So anyway, get to the point where it says that you can create this world. And then what we need to do is actually locate the folder where the pack is okay so what i'm going to do is down here in type to search actually i'm not even going to press type to search i'm going to do windows the windows key and then r and i've already got this copy pasted here okay for my you can see here this com.moyang folder okay so i'm going to click okay and it's now going to open up this folder and this is all of my minecraft worlds okay and i'm going to put a link to this where this is down below you're going to need to change i've got daniel james up here that's my name um yours will be saying different but you need to basically locate the app data local packages yeah and then i believe it's local state yeah it is so get into this local state folder and you're going to see premium cash okay then go into there and you're going to find these four folders and in there you're going to have world templates and that's where minecraft saves all the templates of all of your premium content as it were okay um the next thing you want to do is basically locate the add-on that you want to move over so what you need to do is go into one of these folders and look at the level dot name and if i drag this over it just so happens that i'm in the chicken blocked folder okay and then, now we know we're in the right folder, I'm going to go into behavior packs and you're going to find BP0. Okay, and inside that, if you have a look, this is the pack. All right, but I'm going to show you now, if you try and open any of this, right, that's what you're getting. You're not getting a normal JSON file that you can edit or copy or rip off or anything like that. Okay, so don't even try. Moyang have done their bit to make it so you can't you can't rob stuff basically which is right yeah um but anyway yes so in behavior packs you're going to want to grab a copy of this bp0 and i'm going to throw that onto my desktop so give that a minute because there's a lot of stuff as you can see there over 1000 items that just shows how much work uh dan robs probs and squidgy face have both put into this pack we're also going to grab resource packs and you can see that here so i'm going to Control c and paste that onto the desktop like so and boom that is done and now what i'm actually going to do is go back to where my world saves were so let me press back a few times there we go minecraft worlds Okay, and then what you can do is you can either go into your world, go behavior packs and then drop them in. Or what I'm going to recommend you do is go into your behavior pack folder. Okay, and then actually drag that in. So BP0, I'm going to drag in like so. And you could even rename it at this point. So chicken blocked uh, BP because it's a behavior pack. Okay. And then I'm going to come back out of there. I'm going to go into resource packs. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to throw that in. And ignore ignore the mess of Kelly's uh, RTX packs I've got in there. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, so yeah. 
chicken blocked and we're going to call that rp just so we know okay and now they're in there we can actually access them in the game okay so into minecraft and i've just imported a fresh copy of my mountain golems pack and if we click on here we will actually see in the behavior packs in the active i've already got my golem minions on there okay so if you're wanting to play the same world as my let's play then use this otherwise if you're if you're doing a different pack different map whatever basically the rules are the same whether you go create new and then you do it in here okay behavior packs my packs and then you can add them or if it's an existing world you just click on the pencil here the edit pencil and then we can go behavior packs my packs and now i can actually add chicken blocked in okay so you can see it's active here resource packs that would have dragged it over and what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put my pack above chicken blocks and that's purely because we have a clashing recipe um chicken blocks has its chicken armor which is made um with a different recipe to mine but it's actually um the chainmail armor okay which i have the same i've i've changed the chainmail armor but i've changed it for the pumpkin armor so depending on what you want you might need to move them around um but otherwise that now if i go and click play let me just double check game yeah multiplayer's off click play and that now will have not just my golem minions pack but it will also have the chickens from chicken blocked and you can see there chicken blocked cave update in the background and can i see any chickens around me straight off the bat probably not i'm just going to have a look see if anything's spawned i can't see anything yet but one of one of the ways we can check is by basically going into your crafting and if we go all the way down to the very very bottom there we go i can see that we've got the nets from chicken blocked so as i say that won't just work if you want to mimic my world and then you know do the same world as me it will also work for any other pack so you can see spawn chicken trader there's a recipe for and you can see this pumpkin helm and the pumpkin chest plate that's my um chainmail armor okay and what i will do is just very quickly let's let's show you if we swap the order of the packs uh, so let's go behavior packs active and i'm going to put chicken blocked up at the top and the same in resource packs i'm going to move chicken blocked up okay i'm then going to click play and this is why ordering your packs is very important because it will affect what overrules what basically so now if i go into here and we scroll down to the armor you can see there chicken chest plate chicken helmet chicken leggings and chicken boots and if we had a crafting bench it would be the chicken recipe for that which is something like feathers and string as opposed to mine being the the new iron ingots and stuff that i've added um you can see the recipe for the incubated air and whatnot and that is why some of you that are playing my pack would have noticed that the starter chest does in fact now include a redstone lamp just to give you a head start to getting that incubator but the rest of it you've got to grind for right now if you can do this on mobile it will probably be a similar sort of method i haven't tried it on mobile it might it might work i don't know give it a go um but yeah as you can see this is this is for windows 10 um but yeah i'm gonna leave it there so hope it helped and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye bye